Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought we would do a bit of a fun video. I've been doing a lot of kind of, I wouldn't say serious content recently, but a lot of my content is about books and writing and history and period dramas. And I just wanted a little bit of something lighthearted, a little bit of something as a change of pace. And I have recently got into jigsaw puzzling. Don't ask. Um, I basically ended up being a, um, a victim of the YouTube algorithm, which showed up competitive puzzling on YouTube one day and I fell into the rabbit hole of watching competitive puzzlers on YouTube and it made me want to do some jigsaw puzzles so here we are the jigsaws that I have here I got on Facebook marketplace and um, really cheap they were like 50p each um, and then I spotted this one online so this is the world of the Brontes thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and it has over over 50 characters from the Bronte novels on the actual jigsaw this image on the front is not the full jigsaw it is actually let me turn it around for you this is the full image so that's what the full jigsaw looks like includes a fold out poster oh, I didn't see that <laughs> got a poster apparently as well um yeah so that's the full images of 50 characters from bronte novels and you can have a look and see which ones you can guess now i know there's been a lot of bronte content recently on my channel i'm not becoming a bronte channel it's just that by kind of coincidence different things have popped up that have been bronte related so there was this one there was also a jane austen one that i thought about and a frankenstein one which i really wanted um, so I might get more in this series, but for the purposes of this video, I thought we would just do a fun kind of uh, puzzling video. So I'm going to do this Bronte puzzle on camera. I am going to try and time myself and see how long it takes because the competitive puzzlers can do a thousand P jigsaw in like a couple of hours. I reckon it's going to be a couple of days for me, but we'll see. Who knows? So in the meantime... I'll put a timer on the video and we'll have this fun little video and see what you think. If you hate this kind of content, no worries. I won't do another one. <laughs> or maybe I'll do another one, but like in a long time when I get the next puzzle. Um, and if you like it, we can do more stuff like this. Just want to change it up a little bit now again, now and again. Do something a bit fun, something a bit different, something lighthearted. So, yes. But in the meantime, before we can move on to this amazing puzzle i have to finish this one which it's not incredibly easy to see because i have a glass dining table um but it is supposed to be this image it's called past times it's okay it's good i say it's okay it's okay in terms of the i love the picture i think the picture is really cool it's quite hard because there's obviously lots of different kind of details in it the quality of it is good, like the puzzle pieces are really good quality. Um, it's just taking a lot longer than I anticipated. So I first need to finish this one and then we can start on the Bronte one. It took me a few hours on the Friday and Saturday evening to get this jigsaw finished, but eventually I got it done and I was so happy with the final result. I think that the picture is really sweet. I'm not sure I'd do it again because it was really challenging, but I enjoyed it nevertheless. And it meant that we had a plain table ready to get started on the Bronte puzzle. Good morning, everybody. So the last footage you saw was me completing the previous puzzle that was on the dining table. And I did a voiceover because... Tom was in the room next door, I was here, it was very late at night, I don't even know what I looked like, but probably not attractive, <laughs> so did a little voiceover, but now it is Sunday morning, Tom has gone out for the day with his friend, which, to be fair, Tom would never stop me puzzling, but I just figured there'd be less kind of ambient noise going on in the background, and I am ready to tackle the Bronte puzzle, I'm so excited for this, oh, my glasses have steamed up a little bit, that's how excited I am, I'm getting steamy. <laughs> I'm not getting steamy for a puzzle, don't get excited. So, I have got myself a setup. So, here is the puzzle. And we, of course, have obligatory Sunday morning coffee. Um, here is the puzzle. And here, I've got my tripod. <laughs> so, the idea is I'm going to mount my phone up on the top of this tripod. And then it's going to be able to kind of, like, point down onto the table, like that. And we'll capture the footage. I've also got my iPad here because I'm going to see if I can do a timer on camera. If not, I'm going to have to find a way to add one digitally afterwards. But I mean, this is all a bit of fun, so it doesn't matter if it's not particularly slick. So yes, let's get everything set up and then let's open the puzzle box. 
Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually open up the puzzle box. I should turn it around actually so you can see it. So on the front, it's um, got a lovely kind of matte feel to it. Um, I am completely basing this video, by the way, off Karen Puzzles. So Karen Puzzles is an American puzzler who has a really good YouTube channel. She's lovely. She's really nice and friendly. Um, and she does loads of puzzles on camera um, and that's basically what her entire YouTube channel is about and that's the video that was thrown up on my For You page, kind of on my suggested videos on YouTube and then I fell down a rabbit hole of watching her videos. And so I'm kind of slightly stealing the format from her or being inspired by her format. So what she normally does is she'll get the puzzle, she'll kind of open it up, she'll have a little look at it and then she'll start making it. So that's what we'll do. So, in the box, there is, crikey, that feels like thick. Oh, it fell, oh, it fell down. Okay. So we've got like a load of blurb here, which I don't think I'm going to read out because it's uh, probably quite a long bit of text. Sorry, Stanley's just having a moment. You all right, puss? What are you doing? What? What are you looking for, Poppy? Can you have a little moment? So this is basically, it's a biography of the Brontes, but what I am noticing is that names and places are emboldened. And on the front of the box, if you remember, it said that we had over 50 characters to find. So I think in this situation there, they're roughly saying the word character. Neil's bloody air quotes. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to have to become a channel that does air quotes. Maybe I'm just that kind of person. I am the type of person I realised from editing my last YouTube video that does a chef's kiss and then says chef's kiss, af the, 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 says chef's kiss afterwards. I think that makes me a really old person now. I think that's like a millennial thing. So maybe I'm just the type of person that does air quotes as well. I'm an imperfect person. Anyway, I'm not going to have that to one side and be looking for them. Um, but we might have a look afterwards and see how many we can spot. And then this is a poster. Well, I suppose it's a poster and also it's your guide. That is basically the entire image that we're going to be making. The Black Bull. We're going to do a jigsaw of the Black Bull. And we stayed at the Black Bull two weeks ago, so that's exciting. Yeah, so that's the jigsaw. I suppose you could, if you wanted to, frame that and make it into a nice poster for your wall. Ooh, look, all the characters are on the back. So if you want to, you can really cheat and find all of the characters. Those are all the places and people and events that we're supposed to be finding in the jigsaw puzzle when we finished it. So that's that. Here is the puzzle itself. I think what we will do is we'll empty out the bag. And I'll never know quite where to open these. Karen Puzzles just rips them open, but she's always planning to keep hers. And I don't know whether I'm going to resell this or gift it to somebody afterwards. So I might go into a top corner. In fact, my sister has asked to do this after me. So in order to make it so that I can kind of reseal the bag, I'm just going to make a little hole up here at the top. Oh my god, so exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be. I know this is like uber nerdy, but I am genuinely quite excited to spend the day puzzling. <gasps> There's two pieces still stuck together. We're going to keep that. <laughs> oh, and that goes with that because that's a piece of Crystal Palace. I'm calling it a Crystal Palace. It looks like the Crystal Palace, but... Oh, I'm already getting sucked in. Excited. Right, let's set up the iPad and then let's get started sorting. Okay, so I've got my stopwatch here. There you go. Um, I'm going to set it going, but I actually really want to listen to a podcast. So I'm going to set it going and I'm going to listen to the podcast on the iPad and then I will show you the time once I've got everything sorted rather than having it in the screen somewhere because it'll time out and go in sleep mode anyway. So I might as well set the timer going and then set it onto a podcast and then get going on sorting the edge. So let's hit start. Oh, exciting. One thing 
I'm not noticing. Sorry, I know you can't. I <laughs> can't quite see me on camera. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that even though I'm sorting into edges and non-edges, <clears throat> when it comes to sweeping some of the edges off the edge of the table into this box, I'm like, oh, I missed an edge there. So it's funny how you can be so focused on doing a task of looking for an edge, but even when you're doing that, you miss them. I thought that is quite an interesting thing. Maybe not. <laughs> I find it interesting. Right, so that's taken us 16 minutes, well, nearly 17 minutes, to sort all of the edge pieces. Now, I might not have got absolutely all of them, but there seems to be a good number there. I can't see that that is all of them, but we'll see. So I'm going to put all of these into the outline now. I'm just realizing that you're probably not gonna be able to see a lot of this on camera. So I'm gonna do the overhead, just to put it together. And then once it's put together, I'll come back and I'll show you it in detail from a different angle so you can see it. So, I am going to reset this now. I'm going to set it going again for how long it takes us to do the edge. have gone by and I have not quite finished the edge but I've done most of it so I will show you what I've done. So this is what I've managed to do. Um, sorry you can't see that for the box underneath. I'm not going to become a full-time puzzler but if I did I would definitely have to get a, a opaque table. <laughs> so we've done the edge up here. I think all of this looks correct. Yeah, all of that looks correct along here. So we're missing a piece there. That all looks pretty good. Oh, now I don't think that is correct in the corner. Can you see? So I think that needs to come off. Oh, oh, that needs to go maybe there. That was connected there. That is correct. I think we might be missing a couple of pieces there. That is, that is definitely the corner, but it needs to be like that, yeah. So yeah, there's a couple of pieces missing, but overall, I'm really pleased with how quickly that's gone together. I actually think this isn't gonna be a super, super difficult puzzle. That might be foreshadowing. <laughs> but um, there's quite a lot of like individual little features of this puzzle that you can do. So for example, you can focus on each individual building. Like down here, this corner was really easy because it had lots of like um, the threads, the, 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 what is it called? The rigging from the ship. Um, and then like, yeah, obviously the dark color on this side, the light color on this side. So I think what I'm going to do is to try and sort some pieces. So maybe I'll start with this bit with the fire because that's a really bright color. Um, having said that, we have already got a little bit of the Crystal Palace. I'm calling it the Crystal Palace. I don't actually know if that's what it is, but it looks like it. Um, that done. And there's another piece there that goes in somewhere, maybe like there. Um, so actually, I wonder if we maybe start in this corner here. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to start sorting the inner pieces.
that's a very compelling thing for a lot of people to feel like they have the answers that most people don't. They know things that other people don't. So that desire to believe that can be quite strong in some people. So some people are scored higher on a scale that indicates where people are likely to believe conspiracies or not. Oh, so it's been, oh, turn around. Hello. <laughs> it's been now and 45 minutes and it's crikey, it's 20 past one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Um, so I've got quite a bit of it done, um, as you can see here. So I've managed to do quite a lot of the bottom, which I'm really happy about. And what I'm actually going through and doing is I've separated out all the pieces for each of the different buildings. And what I've been doing is trying to like create each building. So you'll see I've done most of the bottom strip and then I've done um, the building on fire. I've done the, this looks like a parsonage building. Um, I've done this building here. Um, and so I need to do the top one. So I've got the pieces for that, that, that and that are here in these four collections. So I think what I need to do now is probably have a break. I need to have a walk around now for a bit. Uh, you can see right down my bra. What I need to do now is go for a little bit of a walk around and a break. Um, I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I need to put some washing out on the line. So I'm gonna have a little break and then I will come back to you when I start the next bit. Right, so it's been another 38 minutes. I'll hold the timer up. I've literally just stopped it now, so another 38 minutes. Um, I don't know what the total time is. I'll probably put it up in the video. So you will know more than me how many hours total I've spent on this so far. And I think it's looking pretty good. Let me show you. So this is what we've got done so far. It's coming. It's definitely coming together now. It feels more like a puzzle that is joined up as opposed to like lots of different separate parts that I've been putting together. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to join these two together soon and maybe to join this whole side up. Um, this middle bit, I am starting now to find pieces in the box for. So that's why there's these like little bits floating around because they are in the right place. It's just there's nothing else around it at the moment. So yeah, I am really, really enjoying it. It's a lovely puzzle. I think the style of it, the design, the kind of bold colours, there's enough in it to be challenging, but not so much that it's like a difficult puzzle to do. I'm definitely going to get it done today. Absolutely not a problem. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really like it. I'm definitely going to buy more in the series. Definitely. So yes, I will uh, keep you posted.
Hello. Yes, you. You had a nice afternoon. Yeah, nearly finished my jigsaw. Already? Yeah. So the next bit of footage you're going to see is basically me showing you that we are nearly finished with the jigsaw puzzle and you'll see in the footage that there's only the top right hand corner left to do and obviously by this footage that you've just watched there are still some gaps and stuff around in the jigsaw. So this is the point where I stopped filming and then instantly started recording again. I'm always a little bit paranoid when filming kind of footage that lasts over an hour on my phone just in case something happens and I lose that entire hour so what I did was I stopped recording and then instantly pressed record again but the second half of that session the bit where I fill in these gaps that you could see now unfortunately got corrupted um I think what happened is my phone died and basically if your phone dies in the middle of filming then it's very likely that the last clip that it was filming at the time they died doesn't actually store so unfortunately we did lose a tiny bit of extra footage of me finishing off some of these gaps in the jigsaw but hopefully you can forgive me for that and we do go on and we have got the footage of me finishing it so don't worry all the crucial footage is there I just wanted to explain why you might see a bit of a jump from where we are in this bit of footage you've just seen to where we are in the next clip all right so we're another 35 minutes on and um yeah I've nearly finished so as you can see we have almost finished. So down here, I've just finished putting the last few pieces in. So now I can do that lovely thing of running my hand over the bottom there and everything is completely filled in on the bottom. So now I've just got to do this little area up here. So very exciting. I'm going to set my uh, camera up and you can watch me finish it. And the last piece, <gasps> done. Need to stop the timer. Look at that. Oh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful puzzle. It really is absolutely lovely. Now we need to go through and have a look and see what all of our 50 characters are. So this is gonna test your Bronte knowledge now. I know that this is Jane Eyre, definitely. And I think that this up here is Wuthering Heights. Um, I believe that that's Bronte Parsonage. That looks like the Parsonage. That's obviously the Black Bull. Um, this looks like Lowood School from Jane Eyre. Um, not too sure about this down here, so it might have something to do with one of the Bronte novels that I've not read before. And these two properties here, I'm not too sure about either. 
but what else can you see? Can you spot any main characters in there? Um, I'm not going to go through all of the 50 characters and I'm not going to post the results anywhere because you should go and get this puzzle yourself and see how many you can identify. But yes, let me know what you think. There you go, so that's it. Finished the puzzle. I'm standing up and I am, oh, stretching my back out because bending over that last bit, I was like standing up so that I could see the pieces and was bending over and that was hurting my back a little bit. So I am glad that I've done it now, but how exciting to have done a full thousand piece puzzle in a day. That's a huge achievement for me. And it was just so enjoyable. Like I say, the whole, the, the fact that it's illustrated was really lovely. I think I do prefer illustrated hand-drawn jigsaws as opposed to photography based jigsaws. I just find them a lot easier to do. Um, and I just think it's really lovely how all of the kind of pictures intermingled, but they're each quite individual. So you can quite easily kind of put things together. The hardest bit, to be honest, was the connectors, was kind of the, the colours in the middle where it was either just green or just purple or just cobbles. Those were the hardest bits to put things together in. But the rest of it was relatively easy and I've really, really enjoyed it. So there you go, a little bit of fun. Um, I'll leave my final time here or here or wherever on the screen. Um, but that's the final time it took me to do this puzzle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do consider buying one of those. Um, if you, I mean, I'm not obviously not sponsored. I don't get sponsored by anybody. <laughs> Not yet. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed watching this, then consider getting it. I mean, you can get it at loads of different retailers. You can just Google them. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Like I say, this is just a fun interlude in and amongst my regular content. Obviously, it's literary themed, so we're still on trend. We're still on, on kind of style for this uh, channel. But just a bit of something different, just a bit of something fun. Uh, if you remember a while ago, I did a bookbinding video. I like to do different kind of crafty things and fun things that are roughly based around literature or around books or history anyway. So this is just another one for me to have done. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you watch this video and you haven't seen any other of my content please do consider checking out some more of the videos if you've watched a few of them and you haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing to the channel i publish every monday or there or thereabouts um i do videos about history literature books period dramas writing i'm currently writing my first fiction novel i'm also a published author of non-fiction books if you want to you can pick up my books via the link in the description box and yeah that's the kind of content that we do so if you want to consider subscribing please do and to everyone who has been a subscriber for a long time or a short time thank you very much hope you enjoyed this video too so yes i will be back soon with another one okay take care guys bye